The purpose of this fourth and final video is to instruct on interpretation of the session data. So I'm going to stop recording now. Training paused at 21 seconds. And I would want to training stop. Save the session. And we're going to be done. I'm actually going to pull up a previous session and these are all of the sessions down here. Okay. This is the session data of a previous patient, a 40 year old male. His heart rate max was determined to be 180. That's what we programmed into the app before the session. The total session duration was 26 minutes and four seconds. The patient's average heart rate during the session was 122 and his maximum heart rate was 148. Now I'm going to scroll down to the graphs. The first line graph indicates how his heart rate changed throughout the training session. So this patient walked continuously for 17 minutes with the heart rate climbing as the walking became more challenging. We took a short break, you'll see it there at 17 minutes, and resumed walking six minutes later with a very quick climb back up to the high intensity heart rate range over the final three minutes. If we look below to the bar graph, I can see how many minutes this patient spent in each of the training zones. So the gray bar is going to indicate how much time he spent in the low intensity or less than 60% heart rate max. And we can see that he spent five minutes and 57 seconds in this training zone. The blue bar above it indicates the amount of time in the moderate intensity or 60 to 70% of heart rate max zone. And we can see that this patient spent about seven minutes and 14 seconds in that training zone. The green bar right above it indicates the amount of time in the high intensity or 70 to 80% of heart rate max zone. And this is the heart rate zone that we're targeting. This patient spent nine minutes and 35 seconds there. The yellow bar above it indicates the amount of time in the high to very high or 80 to 90% heart rate max zone. This patient spent two minutes and 58 seconds in this zone. The red bar, the top bar, indicates the amount of time in the very high or exceeding 90% of this patient's heart rate max, which would be considered an unsafe cardiovascular intensity. And this patient clearly did not spend any time in that training zone. Having this real-time heart rate information, both during and after the treatment session, is not only helpful with clinical decision-making and documentation purposes, but ensures that I'm keeping my patients safe and sufficiently challenged during exercise.